In this video, we'll look at the features of Security Incident Response within the ServiceNow platform by examining a Security Incident Response scenario. This video covers browser-based push notifications, dynamic incident prioritization, finding and fixing issues fast by integrating with ServiceWatch, and using workflows to manage incidents. Consider the following scenario. Our team leader, Dan, just received a browser-based push notification notifying him that a critical incident has been created. ServiceNow supports proactive push alerts to browsers, tablets, and mobile devices, so it's easy to receive notifications regardless of form factor. Dan messages Sean, a lead analyst, to investigate the security incident record. Looking at the alert that generated the security incident, we see that it came in from Splunk and is marked as a low-level warning. There's a process called Wild Little Pony accessing a stock and salary backup file and attempting to upload the file to an unknown external IP address. This alert contains exaggerated sample data. However, in a real-world environment, these lower-level alerts would typically be dealt with slowly. Lower-level alerts commonly sit in the queue for a number of days and sometimes as long as a week, allowing any malware to cause substantial damage during that time. We can see that the incident has been elevated to critical in the security incident form via the severity calculator. The calculator compared the asset and the alert to data stored in the ServiceNow platform, determined it was owned by an executive, and therefore contained sensitive data. Any data stored in ServiceNow can be used by the severity calculator to enrich the quality of the data that comes in from upstream security detection systems. This enrichment can dramatically improve the value of the detection system and enable security teams to act on alerts that have the highest potential to harm the business. Now that Joe is aware of the criticality of the incident, the first thing he needs to do is to shut down the attack. In this case, that means sending a command to the firewall to block the unknown IP address. Here we see Joe quickly switch to ServiceNow's service map, which shows a graphical view of the network infrastructure where he can execute the command against the firewall. Joe doesn't have to access a separate console to execute the command, all of this can be done from within ServiceNow. With the traditional approach, the action happens in a separate system, so you lose visibility and a consolidated audit trail. By doing all of this in ServiceNow, you have a closed-loop process with an end-to-end -end audit trail that's created automatically. Now that the firewall block is complete, Joe can focus on the next action, starting our workflow to retrieve the laptop and disable access. We can start our workflow right from the security incident form. Typically, if you're not using a platform like ServiceNow, you would have to physically move between disparate consoles and manually execute commands by following a document, or even an undocumented process, which tends to be very inconsistent, hard to measure, and provides little in the way of an audit trail. In ServiceNow, we can select our menu option, and the workflow starts to execute. As we look at our in-flight view of the workflow, you'll notice that the first step is to remove the device from the network. Then, we disable the Active Directory account. And the last step sends a task to the IT folks to retrieve the laptop. The first two steps are automated actions that require no human input. They integrate with the back-end systems via API calls. The last step demonstrates ServiceNow's ability to facilitate cross-team collaboration by tasking a team outside of security. Because the IT task is separate from the security team's tasks, the IT team cannot see sensitive data from the security incident. However, because all of this is in one platform, we get a complete audit trail and a closed-loop process. So this is the initial part of the process, dealing with the attack and retrieving the laptop. Let's wrap up what we covered in this video. We saw how the security incident application in ServiceNow Security Operations allows you to receive proactive push notifications to multiple device types, browser, tablet, and mobile. Then we illustrated the power of dynamic incident prioritization, where we leverage data stored in the platform to enrich the alert that came in from Splunk, and then elevated the security incident's priority. We then quickly and proactively blocked an IP address right from within ServiceNow, without having to use additional consoles. Lastly, we executed a workflow which automatically removed the device from the network, disabled the Active Directory account, and sent a task to IT to retrieve the laptop. Thanks for watching. For more information, please consult our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question to the ServiceNow community.